This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, specifically a Link Era Dragoonity combo video. A true-to-form Dragoonity Link combo, and it is the most insane combo that I can come up with because I really just wanted to start on a high note and really end on a high note because I'm not really focusing on Dragoonities at all anymore in my channel or my competitive like Yu-Gi-Oh career, if you could even call it that. But um, I have a lot of people that are old fans that were continuously commenting on videos that were saying, where are the Dragoonity videos at? Or they would get in touch with me through Facebook and they'd be like, Dragoonity videos, when? And like, it was never really in my agenda to make more Dragoonity videos, especially after Master Rule 4. Um, I pretty much made it very clear uh, that I felt like the way the deck could play was like to make Omegas and shit and like just sort of bypass Master Rule 4 but there is some incredible like nonsense that you can have access to and that is what I'm trying to show you in this video. Now this is not a TCG legal combo, this combo involves two OCG cards in the extra deck. Uh, but I figured that like I don't care about TCG legal at this point with this deck because I like to solitaire with it And I like to come up with like insane and crazy things But as far as TCG legal this deck would never hold its own in a tournament of any sort It probably wouldn't even hold its own in a local the TCG metagame in general is just way too volatile for this deck It loses to practically every spell speed 2 card in the game I mean we have hand traps like Ash Blossom and Ghost Ogre in the format now and those can stop Ravine and Ducks turn one and a Tum and like so it's just like going first isn't even reliable anymore because your opponent could have any of these really popular hand traps it's just it's not a good time if you're trying to play this deck and that's why I haven't been playing this deck and there's no real intent for me to play this deck in the future in the future until we get any sort of new support that helps fix that problem because this deck has a lot of inherent flaws in terms of it's very powerful when it goes off but it's incredibly fragile in the early stages but regardless so what I've come up with here is I've come up with a Dragoonity combo that uses all 15 cards in its extra deck and like I said it uses two OCG cards it uses a 10 musical battle mech that just came out and it uses a three burst blast dragon a dragon link three from extreme force but you use all 15 cards in your extra deck and you establish an infinite firewall dragon loop with firewall dragon and uh, darkness metal and you also establish an infinite Beatrice loop, and so what you end up doing is you end up going like plus 12 or something. You end up putting a Morphage Goliath on the field, which means your opponent can't summon from the extra deck. You put a Morphage Lechery in your scale, which means neither player can activate spell cards, so it puts your opponent under anti-spell. You have a Stardust up, you have two Firewall Dragons that are both loaded to bounce cards. One can bounce for one, one can bounce for two. You have a Proxy Dragon out, you have Darkness Metal out, and you have every hand trap in your deck that you want to search in your hand. And you draw a random card if you want to, and that can that can you know, go into play if you want to thin your deck down and draw into a specific trap. Uh, but basically, that's not something I really focus on. Like you already get so much out of this combo with everything else that that's not really the main point of anything. But how do you perform this combo? What is the five card combo you need to do this? Well, it's not a five card combo. It is actually very simple uh, in terms of starting cards. It is the tried and true Ravine Phalanx Mistleton combo. This combo has been historically my like favorite set of starter cards in this deck uh, and it goes pretty wild and so I made this combo because I wanted people to not be able to play this on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro because it takes way too long to perform um, and get ready for a really long combo tutorial video because we're already like three minutes in and I haven't even started yet and it's gonna take a long time to get to the infinite loop and it's gonna take a long time to establish how the infinite loop works and so uh, strap yourselves in but these dice are here for um, for uh, for uh, showing chain links, the red dice are for showing chain links so that uh, things become easier to follow. And the blue dice is for, I'm going to put it on cards like Red Med or Firewall that don't use their effects right away. Um, so that like if later down the line you can see that it hasn't used its effect until like a specific point. Because there are some times when you leave Darkness Metal or Firewall on the field and don't use its effect until a couple of steps later. So regardless, let us just jump straight into this one. You're going to first activate your Dragon Ravine, and you're going to discard the Dragoonity Phalanx, adding Dragoonity Ducks to your hand. Then you're going to Normal Summon the Ducks, Equip the Phalanx, Special the Phalanx, Tribute the Phalanx, Special the Mistleton, and the Mistleton's going to Equip Phalanx, Special Phalanx, and then you are going to Synchro, 
into your Gaedurg. Now, I should note that this combo specifically requires you to use your left hand side extra monster zone. It literally does not work if you use the right hand side, and I'll explain why when we get to that point. Um, and so, as soon as I start Link Summoning, every card placement becomes super important. So, just so I don't have to repeat, repeat that later. Like, uh, every card placement becomes very important. But so, you'll activate Gaedurg's effect, you'll add Zephyros to your hand and discard it, and then you're going to overlay these two into your Hieratic Dragon King of a Tum, and then you're going to detach the Gaedurg specifically here, and special summon the Darkness Metal out of your deck. Now, Darkness Metal is going to bring back your Gaedurg. Gaedurg is going to add and discard Blackwing Steam the Cloak to your graveyard. And then you are going to use Zephyros' effect to bounce the Darkness Metal to your hand, summon the Zephyros, take 400 damage. And then from here, you're going to use Steam the Cloak's once per duel effect to send the Gaedurg to grave and special Steam the Cloak from your graveyard. And so from here, you're going to banish your Atum, and the Mistleton falls off to grave, and you're going to summon your Darkness Metal back to your field, then you're going to use Darkness Metal's effect to bring back your Gaedurg, and then you're going to use Gaedurg's effect for a third time already to add Mist Valley Baby Rock from your deck to your hand, and then discard Mist Valley Baby Rock. And then the Baby Rock will summon itself, and now you're all set to start Link Summoning. We've generated five monsters, we're all set to start going. And now here's where card placement becomes incredibly important. Cannot stress it enough. But, so you're going to Link specifically with Steam the Cloak, and then two other cards of your choosing, it doesn't really matter which ones you're linking away with, and you're going to link away into Decode Talker. Then from here, your Steam the Cloak has a mandatory effect of whenever it hits the, whenever it goes from field to grave, it summons a level 1 token to your side of the field. It's a mandatory effect, and it happens multiple times a turn, and that's what we're going to be abusing here to allow some uh, better uh, link summonings to happen. So, now we're going to make the first of the OCG cards that I'm using. And so you're going to synchro with Miss Valley Baby Rock and the level 1 token, into your Tin Musical Battle Mech. This card just came out in the OCG like two days ago in Premium Pack 17, I believe. And this card's actually really cool. It's a Machine Synchro Tuner Effect Monster, and it's a generic uh, generic Synchro. And its effect is when this card is Synchro Summoned, you can target one Tuner Monster in your graveyard, Special Summon it in Defense Position, but its effects on Field are negated, um, and you can only use this effect of uh, Tin Musical Battle Mech once per turn, and anything that you Synchro with using this card becomes a Tuner. But that's not super important or super relevant. What you're going to do is you're going to use its effect to bring back your Blackwing Steam the Cloak, and you're going to immediately Link Summon using them. So we're uh, we're getting fodder here. Now this takes all 15 cards in your extra deck, as I've already said. Uh, it takes two Link Spiders, three Firewalls, uh, and two Proxy Dragons to make it work. <laughs> so it takes every card in your extra deck, but it's well worth. But so uh, Steam the Cloak here, after you make Proxy Dragon, will use its effect to uh, get a token. And then from here... I'm being dumb. Uh, you summon the Proxy Dragon in the middle. Um, <laughs> uh, you summon Proxy Dragon in the middle. Um, well, it actually doesn't matter because you're going to get rid of it anyway. But So you're going to link with your Darkness Metal and your Decode Talker into uh, Firewall Dragon. And then you're going to link with the token that was left by Steam the Cloak into a Link Spider above the Firewall Dragon. And so now from here, we're set up to start doing some nonsense. We haven't quite gotten to the infinite loop stage yet, we're still very much in the setup phase, but we're getting there. So what you're going to do is you're going to use Firewall Dragon's effect, and you're going to add back Blackwing Steam the Cloak, and you're going to add back Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon to your hand. And that's the reason why I said it doesn't matter if you put the Proxy Dragon here is because you're immediately going to link away with it anyway. All you needed it to do was open this zone, and it does that over here. So uh, if you make that mistake, um, not thinking about it like I just did, then it actually doesn't just matter. Um, but so you're going to link away into three, into three Burst Blast Dragon, the second of the two OCG cards that I'm using to make this combo happen. And the only thing that's relevant about this is that it's a generic Link 3 Dragon. The only thing you can't use to make it are tokens, but it just requires two plus monsters. It's a Link 3. It has a cool effect, but the effect is not overly relevant for our purposes, so it's not really important. So I'm not going to spend too much time focusing on that, but regardless. So Firewall Dragon had a monster leave the zone near it. So you're going to Special Summon Blackwing Steam the Cloak in one of the zones next to Firewall. And so then what you're going to do is you're going to link the Steam the Cloak and the Three Burst Blast Dragon into your second Firewall Dragon. And this Firewall Dragon is going to be in the center of your field, and it is going to stay here for the entirety of the turn until the very end. Like, this this is the most important Firewall. Uh, but So then this Steam the Cloak will activate as Chain Link 1, and then this Firewall's Special Summon from Hand effect will activate as Chain Link 2. So you'll summon your Darkness Metal from Hand, 
and then Steam the Cloak is going to give you a token. And so then from here, you're going to link with this token again into another copy of Link Spider above the used firewall. So this firewall has been used. This firewall has not. And the reason why it was so important for you to do everything on the left-hand side of the board is because of three burst Blast Dragon's markers. It points up, down, and left. So if you'd done this on the right-hand side, this would not work the same way that I'm going to be trying to do it for you. Uh, because you need to use this middle firewall dragon effect to bounce for two, and if you had done it on the right-hand side, your all this stuff would be here, and you'd summon Triburst over here, and it'd be pointing away from the firewall. But if you do it on the left-hand side, everything works. So you use Darkness Metal's effect, and you bring back three burst blast dragon in the zone next to this unused firewall. Now this firewall is co-linked with two cards. So you're going to use its effect, and you're going to add back. Uh, you're going to add back the uh, the Dragoonity Armor Mistleton. And you're going to add back a Mist Valley Baby Rock from Grave. Uh, you're specifically doing this because you need to have a monster in your hand before you can even attempt to trigger the uh, Firewall Dragon effect, a special summon from your hand. And so when you start doing this loop, you need to keep a monster in your hand at all times that can be summoned, even though it's not going to be the one that we are summoning. Um, so just keep that in mind. But so now, from here, what you have access into is that you go 3 Burst Blast Dragon, plus Firewall Dragon, treating Firewall as 1 Link Material and 3 Burst as 3, into a Firewall Dragon right here. And so now this Firewall Dragon's effect is going to activate as Chain Link 1, and you can use this of Firewall Dragon's effect if you want on the chain, but it's not super important. Uh, but So what's going to happen is that this Firewall Dragon's effect will activate, assuming you're not going to activate this Firewall right away, you can special summon Mistleton from your hand, and that Mistleton is going to equip a Phalanx from your grave, and then you can special summon the Phalanx. But now from here, you do have to activate this Firewall Dragon, and this is going to be the last time that you that you uh, have to that you like leave Firewall Dragon unless you're making Beatrice. Um, so that's important to remember. So you use this Firewall Dragon. It's co-linked with two cards. You're going to return Darkness Metal Dragon to your hand from your field, and you're going to put the Firewall Dragon that's in your graveyard back into your extra deck. And then you're going to link with the Phalanx and the Mistleton into your second copy of Proxy Dragon. So now from here, this Firewall Dragon will activate to summon your Darkness Metal from your hand. And so now you have established the starting point of the Infinite Loop. This is, this is the starting point of the Infinite Loop, and this is the Firewall Dragon phase, let's call it. Now the Firewall Dragon phase consists of four steps. Every time you need to do these four steps, You've summoned, uh, you've used 11 cards out of your extra deck. There's only four cards left in the extra deck for this. Um, and you're just going to recycle all of your resources and do everything the most optimal way. But so Darkness Metal hasn't used its effect. So step one in this infinite loop is activate Darkness Metal's effect to bring back three burst. Step two is to link with three burst and firewall into your firewall that you would keep putting back into your extra deck. Step three is that this center firewall will activate as chain link one to attempt to summon a monster out of your hand because a card left the zones next to it and you have a card in your hand that can be summoned in the form of this baby rock or baby glare as it is as I look at my screen um, and then step four you'll activate the new newly summoned firewall dragons effect as chain link two to add back three cards because it's co-linked with three different cards so you add back every single time you're gonna add back red eyes and Firewall Dragon. Every single time you're going to add back these two, and then you get to add back any third card that you want. It can be a card that you want to go to your hand, like a monster, or it can be a card like a Link Monster or something to go back into your extra deck. But so, we're going to get back Mistleton. These cards go back to my hand, the Firewall goes back to the extra deck. So that resolves, then this resolves, there's a Darkness Metal in my hand now, I can Special Summon it, and now we're back to step one. So it's a four step infinite loop, but every single time you perform it, it gives you an extra card because you're going to keep summoning Firewall Dragon in this zone over and over and over again. And every single time you do it, you're putting another card from Grave in hand because you get to add back three every time, but you're only having to recycle two, being the one Firewall Dragon and the Red Eyes. So again, you go step one, Red Eyes, bring this out. Link with these two into Firewall Dragon. Step three, Chain Link one, Firewall to special from hand. Step four, Chain Link two, Firewall Dragon to add back. Targeting Darkness Metal. Firewall, and Ducks. And so from here, these go back to your hands. That goes. Uh, this goes away. Uh, this this effect is fully resolved. Where's the two? I rolled the die over. This effect resolves, summoning Darkness Metal. So it's very simple. It's a four-step combo, and it's infinite. Um, it literally is infinite, and adds you a card back every time. 
So what you're going to do is we've already performed it twice. So what you're going to do is you're going to perform it one, two, three, four more times. You want these five cards specifically in your graveyard at every time. Um, at every time when you're about to go into the next phase, when you have just these five cards in grave, that's when you know that you're 100% ready to go into the uh, next phase. You always want to put back all these extra cards uh, so that you don't end up uh, missing resources. But so now, from here you've done the firewall loop literally like seven times at this point. So now we're going to go on to our next phase. What's the next phase? The next phase is the Beatrice phase. And this is another infinite phase. So what we're going to do is we're at the start step of, uh, of the thing. A firewall, all the firewalls are used. Darkness Metal is not used. So you'll use Darkness Metal's effect to bring back your Gaederg instead of the three burst blast dragon. And what you're going to do here is you're going to link with the Darkness Metal. You're going to link with Firewall, treating it as a one material. And you're going to link with the proxy dragon as two. And you're going to summon the third Firewall dragon in this method. And then this is going to trigger this Firewall Dragon, because a card still left the zone next to it. The Firewall Dragon left the zone. And so that's going to allow you to special summon a monster from your hand. So you're going to special summon Dragoony Ducks. In this instance. And so what you're going to do now is you're going to activate Gatorg's effect, and you're going to add a Morphage Lechery from your deck to your hand. And then you're going to discard the Baby Rock that you had added back. And then that Baby Rock is going to special summon itself. What does Lechery do? When it's in your scale and you control an Amorphage monster, neither player can activate spells or activate the effects of spell cards. Uh, so that's going to be relevant at the very end of the combo sequence. But you can go ahead and search it now. And it's an easy way to search it instead of having to do the Beatrice rigmarole. But so what you're going to do from here is you're going to uh, synchro with the Mist Valley Baby Rock and the Dragoonity Ducks into Coral Dragon. And then this Firewall Dragon, a monster left, uh, this Firewall Dragon is unused, by the way. You do not use this Firewall Dragon throughout the entirety of this combo sequence until you're ready to go back to the Firewall phase. So you summon this Firewall Dragon and you keep it loaded for its bounce effect until you get back to the point where you're making the Firewall loop happen again. Uh, but So this effect will summon uh, a card out of your hands. So you'll summon the Mistleton. It doesn't matter if you equip or not. Um, it really doesn't. Um, you'll overlay the Mistleton and the Gaederg into Beatrice. And then you're going to detach the, from the Beatrice to send any card in your deck to Grave that you want into your hand. So I'm going to send Max C to Grave. And so now from here, I've got two monsters. I'm going to link away with the Coral Dragon and the Beatrice. And I've still got this Lechery in hand, and that's super important. But I'm going to link away with the, uh, the Beatrice and the Coral Dragon into Proxy Dragon. One of the Proxy Dragons that I put back off of the Firewall looping. And so now what's going to happen is that this Firewall Dragon is going to trigger as Chain Link 1, and then this unused Firewall Dragon is going to trigger as Chain Link 2. This Firewall Dragon can trigger because you've still got this monster in hand that can be special summoned. And so then this is going to trigger, and what you're going to do is you're going to add back the Firewall that's in your grave, the Darkness Metal that's in your grave, and then you can go ahead and just add the Max C to your hand. So you'll add back Darkness Metal and Max C, Firewall goes back into your extra deck, and then uh, these resolve, and then your Darkness Metal comes back out. And now you're at the very beginning of the of the Firewall phase, of the infinite Firewall phase. So now you just keep doing that same four-step combo of Darkness Metal to bring out the Three Burst Dragon. Then you link with this and that into the Firewall. And then you go Chain Link 1, this Firewall. Chain Link 2, this Firewall. Again, the same thing. Darkness Metal, Firewall, and then just any other card that you want back in your hand, or need back in your hand. And so you're going to get Mistleton back, this goes back, this goes back into your hand, then this resolves, and your Darkness Metal gets summoned. Right? So it's that same four-step combo. You're back to the Firewall phase. And so what you're going to do is you're going to perform the Firewall phase. We've, ar we've already done the Firewall loop uh, twice. So you're going to do that one, two, three, four, five more times. So you're going to do it five more times again. These five cards are what you want in your grave. Unless you're specifically sending cards to your grave to deck then, in which case, you just need to make sure that you always have Proxy, Firewall, and Beatrice in your extra deck. Those are, those are the cards you need in your extra deck. And then you want to put these back in your hand. It's very simple. Uh, but so then from here, you're going to go back to doing the, uh, you're going to go back to doing the Beatrice phase. Um, this is like the first type of Beatrice phase, because there's a second type of Beatrice phase that we get to after this one. Uh, but so, use Darkness Metal to bring back Gaederg. 
and then you're going to link with darkness metal proxy and firewall again into a new firewall dragon which you are not going to use the effect of this firewall dragon will activate to special summon a card out of your hand so you'll special summon ducks and then from here you're going to activate Gaedurg's effect and if you are playing DD Crow this is the easiest time to get it instead of trying to search it off the Beatrice nonsense again just the same thing with like lechery um, it's just easier to get it this way off Gaedurg um, and so you can deck thin a lot with this because you can use Gaedurg to add and discard a card every turn like Phalanxes and Duxes and nonsense and then Beatrice to send a card to Grave so like there's there's a lot that you have access to and at any point during this you could just use Coral Dragon to draw a card so that's also really, really cool like I haven't used Coral Dragon to draw a card yet uh, but so the baby rock will get special summoned over here I'll synchro these away into Coral Dragon this firewall will trigger special summoning the Mistleton out of my hand again overlay with these two into the Beatrice use Beatrice to send another hand trap to the grave so this time let's send Ash Blossom I want Ash Blossom in my hand and so then you'll link away with these two the Beatrice and the Mistleton into Proxy Dragon and you'll go chain link one firewall dragon chain uh, special effect chain link two firewall dragon bounce effect and so you'll bounce ash blossom firewall and where is he darkness metal uh, so darkness metal and ash blossom will come to your hand the firewall will go back to the extra deck uh, and then you're back to the firewall phase you're back to doing firewall loops so it's very very much an infinite thing so at this point uh, you're going to again do the firewall loop another one, two, three, four, five, six times because you want to get uh, you want to get these five cards again. Remember these five cards; these are the ones that you want to keep engraved, but everything else can go back. Um, that's yeah, that's like the easiest point. But so you'll put the Beatrice, Coral Dragon, and Proxy Dragon back into the extra deck. You'll get the Ducks, the Mistleton, and the uh, Baby Rock back to your hand. And so now things are just really, really, really in your favor, right? Um, and so now you're, you're at the start step of what I call the, Be the second Beatrice phase. Uh, because at a certain point, you're going to run out of cards in your deck to keep searching with Gaederg to trigger Baby Rock to make Coral Dragon. So at some point, you want to get a Coral Dragon draw in there. But then afterwards, all you're going to do is you're going to actually shortcut the method. And so what you're going to do is you're going to use Darkness Metal. You're going to bring back Gaederg again. And you're going to link with the used firewalls and the uh, the proxy dragon into another firewall dragon out of your extra deck that again is going to go unused. This firewall dragon can activate its effect, and this time you're going to special summon Mistleton from your hand. And this time Mistleton is going to activate its effect, and you're going to get Phalanx and equip it. And then you're going to special the Phalanx. And then you're going to overlay these two into Beatrice instead of wasting your time going into Coral Dragons. Uh, because if you already got your Coral Dragon, then you just don't need to do anything else. Now, the neat thing is that you can infinitely make Coral Dragon as long as you have monsters in your deck to add and discard. Um, or you can do a, a, a slightly tweaked method, but still, you can infinitely make a Coral Dragon, which means that you can make it at least 12 times, which means that you can literally blow up your entire opponent's board if they have nothing to respond to you with, which is a neat little thing, because you can have infinite discards and infinite Coral Dragons, but I digress. So you make the Beatrice, you detach the Gaederg, and this time you're going to send another uh, Mistleton because you need multiple Mistletons to end out the combo. You need all three Mistletons in your hand to end the combo sequence um, in a good way. You can definitely end it without three Mistletons, but it's better with the three Mistletons being able to summon from themselves from your hand. But so then you'll link with the Phalanx and the Beatrice into Proxy Dragon again, and then again, chain link one Firewall Dragon, chain link two Firewall Dragon to, uh, to bounce, and so you'll get back Mistleton, Firewall Dragon, and Red Med. These will come to hand, Firewall will go to the extra, and then this will happen, you'll special this. And so you still have the you still have the three burst blasts, this never leaves the graveyard. So you just keep doing the firewall loop again. And so what you do is you do the firewall loop yet again, another one, two, uh, three times. So you put back Beatrice and Proxy Dragon. It shortens the process a little bit for you because you don't have to arbitrarily put back Coral Dragon and you don't have to add back Ducks and uh, Miss Valley Baby Rock. It cuts three uh, recursions of the Firewall uh, thing out of your uh, combo sequence. But if you were trying to play this at a, like an actual tournament, you're probably trying to go first game one and then uh, and then go into time because this is an incredibly long combo thing if you play it out. You could easily go into time game one um, and your opponent can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! so you just win game one. 
and get, win the match game one. Um, so, like, if you want to play out the different ones, and that's the thing cool that's cool as well is that you can justify that you aren't uh, that you aren't stalling because every iteration of the loops can be different. So you can just do a different way every time, and it still ends in the same results. Uh, but you are still cycling different cards around, so it's not stalling. As long as you're playing the game, it's not stalling. Um, and as long as you're getting to different card like results, because like the firewall thing, you're adding cards to hand. The Beatrice thing, you can do it in different ways, um, and you can do the Beatrice one the long way and just add extra time to the clock. So this is a really scumbaggy, <laughs> scumbaggy combo, in all honesty. But so what you're at now is that you're at the starting point of again another Beatrice combo. So you're gonna do the Beatrice combo again, like basically you're gonna keep doing the Beatrice combo um, over and over and over again. Um, and so basically what you're gonna end up with is you're gonna do the Beatrice combo again. You're gonna send another Ash Blossom from deck to grave and then add it to your hand. You're going to send another Mistleton from your deck to the grave, add it to your hand. Then you're going to send a Morphage Goliath from your deck to the grave, and add it to your hand. So you're just going to do the Beatrice combo over and over and over again, and do the Firewall phase over and over and over again. I don't think I need to show you that you have to keep doing it, because at this point, the combo tutorial would go well over half an hour. <laughs> I'm trying to explain this to you as easily as I can, while not taking up literally my entire night and your entire day. But so what you end up with is you end up with every hand trap that you want in your hand, and you end up with a lot of extra cards. And so now, what we're at is we're at a point where we want to establish firewalls that are not used, and we want to establish our ending board. So you do the entire infinite firewall loop, you do all that, you put everything back in your extra deck. Off of the last firewall dragon loop, you put back the Gaederg into your extra deck as well. Uh, just because it's a uh, it's a good card to put back. So once you know you're done with the combos, um, and you know you're going to be going for your ending board and not doing the infinite bullshit, um, then you put the Gaederg back, um, and like that's that's a card that you just leave in your extra deck. And so you've got the Goliath, the three Mistletons in your hand, a Ducks, a bunch of hand traps, and uh, Lechery in your hand. And that's that's the point where you know that the combo is ready to uh, to meet its ending point, right? So what you're going to do to make the ending point is that you are going to, uh, you're going to start sw uh, swapping these firewall dragons out for ones that haven't been used. So what you're going to do is you're going to link away with uh, with firewall, firewall, treating them both as ones, and proxy dragon. You're going to link away with these three, and you're going to link into the fresh firewall dragon that is in your extra deck. All right. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to use darkness metals effect. Uh, because it hasn't used its effect yet, you you've just you've ended one of your loops, one of your firewall loops, and now it's on the board and it's fresh. Um, and so you're going to summon the three burst blast dragon specifically next to firewall. And so now this firewall is loaded for two. So you're going to use its effect, and you're going to put back both the firewalls from your uh, from your uh, graveyard back into your extra deck. And so now, what's going to happen is that you are going to link away. Um, you're going to link away with Link Spider and the Three Burst Blast Dragon. This is why you need all three Mistletons, by the way, because you're going to use all of them. Um, you link away with those into one of the fresh Firewall Dragons in the center zone. And so this Firewall Dragon's effect, its uh, bounce effect has been used, but you're going to use this Firewall Dragon's special ability um, to summon from hand. So you're going to summon uh, one, of the, uh, one of the Mistletons from your hand, and then it's going to equip Phalanx, and then you'll special phalanx, and then you're going to link away with phalanx, firewall dragon, the, the used firewall dragon, and the mistleton into a decode talker, which you put back into your extra deck way early on. And so then this firewall dragon has been, this firewall dragon is unused by the way, for its bounce effect, um, but then you'll use its effect to special a card from hand, and you'll go from there. So what you're going to do is you're going to special summon uh, the Mist Valley Baby Rock from your hand, and then you're going to link with Decode Talker and the Baby Rock into a second Firewall Dragon that is also unused. So these are, these are unused. This Darkness Metal has been used at this point. And so this Firewall Dragon's effect will trigger again, and you're going to special the Mistleton out of your hand again, which is going to equip and special Phalanx again. And then you're going to synchro with the Mistleton and the Phalanx into your Stardust Dragon. <laughs> and you're going to do it in the extra Monster Zone. And so then from there, again, cards left the zone next to Firewall Dragons, so you're going to special the Mistleton again. And then you're going to equip and special Phalanx again. 
Then you're going to link away with those two into one of the proxy dragons that you put back into your extra deck off of the infinite firewall loop. And so then, from there, one of these firewalls can trigger its effect to summon a card from your hand. So you will summon a Morphage Goliath from your hand. And then you will scale your Morphage Lechery, and that is the end of the combo sequence. You scale the Lechery, and either your left or right scale, I just put it over here because the glare was way too fucking bad over here. Um, and so you end with this. Both of these Firewall Dragons are unused. This one can bounce for two. This one can bounce for one because it's co-linked with the other Firewall Dragon. You have a Stardust out that prevents destruction effects. You have Goliath out that's as long as it's on the board, your opponent can't summon from the extra deck, or neither player can summon from the extra deck, except a Morphage Monsters. You have a Darkness Metal that can survive until the next turn. You have a Lechery in your scale, um, which can easily turn off your Goliath next turn once you get to your standby phase, and you can 100% just kill your opponent with the board you already have. These firewalls are loaded, the Proxy Dragon offers a bit of protection, the Stardust offers protection, and you have four hand traps, at least. And you have a card that you could have drawn off Coral Dragon. You can have literally every hand trap in your deck into your hand because this is an infinite combo. You can add whatever cards in your deck that you want to your hand. Instead of Goliath, you could add like Christia if you wanted to run it. There's so many different weird things that you can do with this, but it is an infinite combo that establishes all of this shit. So, this has been a long-ass combo tutorial video, so I'm not going to spend much time discussing this, and I'm going to just leave it here. But I definitely want to know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments down below. If you made it this far into the video, I commend you, and give me a hashtag Dragoonity Combos for Life in the, in the uh, comments down below to let me know you made it this far. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the nonsense you usually do. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you like the content I've been producing, you like my videos, and want to support my ability to make videos directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. Even something as little as a dollar a month is greatly appreciated in terms of my ability to keep making stuff and pumping out content, and you'd have my eternal gratitude. As well as the reward tiers get you access into giveaways for Yu-Gi-Oh! product and my Discord server to chat with me and others on a daily basis. So, if any of that interests you, then definitely go check out the Patreon that is linked in the description, as I've already said. But other than that, as always, guys, thanks for watching. As I've already said, thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video. But now that the video is over, special thanks to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a ton. You have my eternal gratitude, as I've always said, and you guys are awesome. Thank you so much.